In this Context Minds review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about Context Minds. If you have any questions, please comment them down below, and I'll also be sure to leave a discounted link so you can get your money's worth for Context Minds. Context Minds is a visual topic and keyword research tool. It can help organize and generate content ideas and AI generated keywords on a digital whiteboard. This is the homepage. This is what you should see once you've signed up or just click the free trial. Overall, straight off the bat, it does look pretty good. You can see up to the right, you've got your notes and research section. This is the main whiteboard section. And down here, this is where you'd add your topic area. So to start off, I'm just gonna go ahead and explain every little area as we hover over it all the way up here this is just the settings section this is where you can change some settings for the software to the right of that we've got the share button this is where you can share your digital whiteboard and your topics and then right here you can sign up and log in so this software can be used to generate ideas for yourself if you're ever struggling or you just need to really brainstorm any ideas this is probably the best software for it so let's just say we have an idea off the top of our head over here in the notes section this is where you'd add it once you hover over it should highlight green and then you should just click it like that then it opens up this little note section right in front of you again there's not too much going on it's pretty simplistic and easy to follow along so right here you can add your subject down in the bottom right corner of that you can see that the characters left is 160 so you can't actually go above 160 characters right below that there is the content section this is where you'd start writing any context about your notes or any ideas that you have this one has a 10,000 characters limit. So let's just go ahead and write an absolute random subject. I'm just gonna think of one off the top of my head and see what we come up with. So I just went with increased views. Let's just say we're running a business or running a company, or even if we're just some sort of YouTuber, then we'd also want to increase views across all of them platforms. As I'd be thinking about that, right here I can write any notes that pop into my head or any ideas that can help me further progress that subject. So there you go, these are just three little ideas that first popped into my head. You just go ahead and write them down. It's probably best to write anything that pops into your head down since there is a lot of characters and that's pretty much what this software is used for once you have done that section you can click down here done and there you go that should add all of your notes and all of your subjects to this section right here the notes section if you do go over here you can actually edit your notes right here if you just click that it should open up this section again right next to that you can also delete that if you were to click that it would delete but we do not want to do that so up here back on the top bar you can actually use this arrow tool to undo just like that or you can redo it if you regret your decisions again all the way down here in this bottom right corner on this plus sign you can actually click that and it should open up this section right here this section is just to help with search engine optimizations and you can type anything you want and it should come up on the left hand side right here with options so let's just go with reviews and right here it comes up with loads of search engine reviews and it can actually help you see what is linked or ranked the best within search engines right here on the right hand side it does give you loads of metric and information on whatever one you clicked on on the left hand side so let's just go ahead and add Google reviews for the sake of the video and the sake of the review. And once you have done that, it should add it right here. So you can actually just drag this around, put it wherever you want, wherever you feel comfortable with. And while we're on the topic of having things on this digital whiteboard section, you can actually come over to the right hand side where we added the notes. You can actually click and drag this note onto the digital whiteboard as well. It does actually create a section below that just to tell you which notes are pinned to the digital whiteboard. Now moving all the way down to the bottom of the screen, you can actually see here that once you have Google reviews or anything implemented to your digital whiteboard, it actually gives you related concepts for whatever you added to the whiteboard. So since we added Google reviews, you can see we've got search engine optimization, how to leave a Google review, how to delete a Google review, more stuff like that. Right here above that, you can actually expand or minimize your canvas and your whiteboard. To the left of that, you can actually click this button, which when you click it, it removes the numbers below the Google reviews right here. Or you can simply just zoom in and out of your digital whiteboard. If you are to click on the notes that you added to this digital whiteboard, you can actually link it to another concept, or you can actually change the color of it. Then quickly to the right of that, you can either delete it, or you can rename it, add a note, or you can even download it as a text. Moving all the way to the right, once you've actually typed your note and added it to the whiteboard and clicked on it, you can actually see we have information on this right-hand side here that directly correlates to which 
subject we wrote 17 ways to get more views on youtube best photo editing apps a guide on how to get instagram reels it all correlates to the notes we added within this subject overall this can help you a lot more because it will generate ideas as you're reading through the information that you actually wrote in yourself let's go ahead and just add another note just to see what type of information we would get for that one so here we go just for the sake of the video again i actually just added a totally random type of note here i just went for like a restaurant note just to see what type of information and recommendations we would get if we were to add it to the whiteboard of ideas. So let's go ahead and again, drag that to the whiteboard. And if you click on it, it should come up with all the suggestions of the notes you wrote in that subject. Another cool feature about the software is that you can actually drag and drop these subjects into each other. However, we're not going to do that with restaurant and increased views because they don't really fit unless we're making a video or an advert for the restaurant. So that means we could actually drop the increased views into the restaurant section. Then you can move these two round together if you would like. Along with that, we would want good reviews for our restaurant. So that means you can also drag the Google reviews bit into the ideas. And there you go. You have multiple ideas in one section. And we could just put that anywhere we want to the side up here or up there or in the middle. Once you have spent a while on this, generating loads of your ideas and loads of your subjects, again, up here, you can actually click save and you do have to log in for this, but you can easily just save your file and then come back to it whenever or whenever you have any new ideas. Overall, I think Context Minds is an absolutely great way of generating ideas and generating keywords to help you come up with ideas. It is a really good brainstorming software and it is really easy to use and easy to navigate. Would I recommend this to anyone? Yes, I would. Anyone doing any form of anything, you can actually use this to create any ideas from any subject. Not only does it give you information, but it can also combine information and help you actually brainstorm your ideas and visualize them on the digital whiteboard. Another thing I like about Context Minds is that it does give you loads of information correlating to your subject. Overall, I think it is a 10 out of 10 software and I would recommend it, yes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.